Ooh. Oh no. Mama messed it up. Stop. No, I didn't. Is See? This, is this oh. supposed to happen or are you just Yeah, this is supposed up? to happen. This is part of it. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Brittany, AKA Fine Apple Vegan, and today we make it the Christmas cookies. Yes, we are making some sugar cookies and let them decorate them. Um, but it's really not much to it. It's pretty easy. We're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, just to let you know, a few of the ingredients, you need flour, almond extract, vanilla, baking powder, a little bit of salt, cornstarch, and then obviously butter. And then also, it's a little different. We are adding cream cheese. It just makes the cookie taste so much better. I know it's weird. You probably haven't heard of cream cheese hear me he might kill me <laughs> so yes the cream cheese actually just adds a little bit of like creaminess to the cookie it's so good now obviously all of our sugar are you back okay and then a little bit of something that's just a little different is I'm gonna add a little bit of imitation butter and a tiny bit of cake batter flavoring so first let's go ahead and cream our butter together in our cream cheese with the sugar so this needs to be kind of room temperature I wouldn't recommend melting it just try to make it room temperature. If you do have to put it in the microwave, only for like 10 or 15 seconds. So what I'm doing is chopping the butter up just to kind of make it easier for me to mix everything together. Now we're gonna add our sugar. You gotta use those tawny muscles. Revenge. Revenge? I mean, I can't really whistle right now. Oh, you were trying to whistle to play it off? The only reason why I don't use a mixer is because a lot of y'all don't have mixers and I don't want you to feel like you have to use a mixer to make some of my recipes. I just use a little elbow grease. Have you been going to the gym? Why I'm looking both. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in vanilla extract. I'm not measuring this. I'm literally just gonna put like a drop in there because this is actually from the Dominican Republic, it was a gift. And now our imitation butter, same a tiny drop, like even less than the vanilla. Anything now? A drop of cake butter. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cinnamon. And then like a tiny drop of almond extract. And y'all are probably like, what's the point? It's very strong. This might be too much flour, honestly. This is about three and a half cups of flour. I would recommend probably just using three for the amount that we have, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We'll see how it comes out, huh? And what I'm doing is whisking the flour together. You can sift it if you want, but y'all know I'm lazy. And what I'm gonna do is add in my cornstarch. Get in there, get in there. And then my baking powder and my salt. Whisk it back again. Add in the flour. A little bit at a time. I added about half. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Dang it. I don't know if y'all know, but my kids are not vegan. They are vegetarian. They are slowly transitioning. And I'll explain in another video why I chose to let my kids continue to be vegetarian for a little while. Okay, I'm actually gonna add the rest of that flour. So three and a half actually was the right amount. So, I don't want my gloves to be super sticky, so I'm gonna stick my hand in this flour. So, it just helps me be able to handle it better. Mama, mm -hmm. flour power. Flour power. And I'm just working it into this Oh, So I just wanna add sprinkles to the mix. You don't have to, it's just, it's fun, you know? It looks cool. Mm-hmm, see? I'm actually gonna add them all. Really, Molly? It wasn't a whole bottle. Bruh. Now it's just this big ball of colorful dough. Now we have to put it in the fridge because this dough needs to be cold. Otherwise, it's gonna be room temperature and it's not gonna hold up well. I'm gonna get 
some flour and just put it on the surface. Ooh, fancy. Oh, fancy. Okay, so with the rolling pin, you just wanna flour it as well so that the dough doesn't stick to it. And you just wanna thin it out. The thickness is up to you. Obviously, thinner cookies are gonna be crispier, but if you want like a more chewy, soft cookie, then make them thicker. So which ones do you want? We have oh, snowflake, yeah. we have gingerbread men, we have Christmas tree, we have star and a stocking. This one. I'm gonna do snowflake. Just press it. Gently take these out because they're still not cold. So we're gonna put them on our parchment paper because they're gonna go in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I'm just gonna make a few more. These are so cute, right? Mm -hmm. So you have two options. You can refrigerate your dough first and then cut your cookies out later. Or you can do what we're doing and go ahead and cut your cookies out now and just refrigerate them like that. And then when they're ready, you just pop the whole pan in the oven. Obviously, y'all know why I picked this way. Pretty much a lazy cook. Well, it depends on what I'm making, honestly. Mama, on another video, can, we, can you make a gingerbread house? I don't know, we'll see. Mr. Grinch. You're you mean, mean one. Mr. Grinch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my outside fridge and then we're gonna go ahead and make more. I what are you doing? <laughs> Every time I leave, you up to no good. I got the power. I got the power. Okay, you guys, so I let the cookies cool so that they could get their shape and they're pretty firm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. The oven is set for 350. Um, some people bake them for 375, 400. I like to bake my stuff at 350 because I can watch it and control how much they cook. I'm gonna like cook them for maybe like eight to 10 minutes and I'm gonna check on them and probably take them out at that time and then just let them cool because even though they might not seem like they're done, it's just because they need to cool off and then they'll firm up a little bit and then the center will still be soft and chewy. It sucks that I have to wait for them to bake. I wish I could just like, and they be done. Okay, you guys, so our cookies are done. I did put them on a wire rack to cool off. But they are perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I had a little piece of one and please make these cookies. Oh my goodness, they are delicious. My house smells amazing, they taste delicious. And honestly, you need to do everything I did. Don't omit anything. Do everything exactly the way I did so that they can taste how mine tastes. So you can experience what I've experienced. <laughs> so at this point, you can leave them as is if you want, especially since I did put sprinkles in the batter. Or you can decorate them. So earlier I did mention that my kids are vegetarian, not vegan. I said that because these say that they're vegan, the Betty Crocker frostings, but I'm not sure if they are 100% vegan or not. All the ingredients that are listed says vegan, and when I scan it, it says typically vegan. So if you want to be for sure, for sure, then I can give you a quick recipe for a frosting, like a decorating frosting. All you need is some powdered sugar, I'm not measuring this. All you need is some powdered sugar, plant-based milk of your choice. I'm gonna use almond milk. And you only put a little bit in there. So all I'm gonna do is whisk this up. And so at this point, you would just divide it. See that? You would just divide it into however many colors you're gonna make and you just drop in your food coloring and that's your frosting. But for these, they're for my kids, not for me. I'm gonna eat them, but without frosting. Let's go ahead and decorate a few. All right, so our cookies are done. This was stressful, okay? The making the cookies was easy. That was good. But the decorating part, I suck at this. Not so much. I think we should cut that out of the video. So you guys, I think it's time to try them. You like it? All right, you guys, so I hope you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And let us know if you make these very easy Christmas cookies. I wanna know how y'all's experience is with decorating them though, because this stressed me out, okay? As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see you later. Bye. Bye. Listen, Linda. 
Let me know. Listen. Won't get beat? Won't get beat. <laughs>